compared to you know when you initially heard that Max was retiring? Yeah. Um, look, you never want to lose a player like Max, um, and I mean he, he was you know a great player for us, um, but you know you you identify the need area and, and you address it if it's available without you know going out and trying to create players that fit the need. You know, in this case, we felt real good about signing Nick. Uh, you know, he's played uh, at a high level at, at both center and guard. Um, but uh, so, I mean, I, I think a, a little bit better than the night after Max was, was retiring. And, and look, we were, we were well informed and, and on top of and knew where Max was, was Kind of leaning, and he and I had a number of discussions. You know, we shared the same agent, so you know, it wasn't something that caught us off guard. Uh, it was really trying to you know, get through the process where you know the season's right you know, over, and, uh, and and give you know him the the necessary time to make you know a decision like that. Anything happened the first or the second round that kind of caught your attention? Um, no, I I think. Yesterday we talked about it. It was fairly unremarkable. You know, the first round went fairly smooth. There, was, there were a few selections maybe that were surprising, but um, <coughs> no, I thought it went um, fairly quickly, I guess. And, and uh, you know, maybe there were a few picks, but other than that, I thought it was uh, pretty normal. Sean, Eric said that at his pro day, Dan worked him out and went over film with. What, what were Dan's reactions? All of them, all of it, very positive. You know, we we got to a, a lot, a lot of workouts, certain positions, and uh, you know, you just kept checking boxes. They, they were, they were, they were good. They were clean. Um, for me, it was just you know, watching. I wasn't at the pro day, and certainly was uh, was able to see the tape, combine all of that. But you just watch the film, and it's pretty impressive. What do you think when you saw the Dolphins flip 62 for Rosen? Yeah, well, I think that was we'd heard. You know, they, they were looking to find find a quarterback, um, so that was kind of discussed a little bit yesterday. Um, yeah, so it wasn't really surprising. Is that a pretty startling turn of events when you think back to grading Rosen? Last year, that, that well, look, suddenly there's goes. a fit that happens at times, and there's another team that you know uh, that has that a level of interest. So, going from a first round pick to a second round pick, there's still a commitment by a team. Uh, Arizona, for them, probably you know, good business if, if they felt they wanted to move in a different direction offensively. Um, I can't speak for the other teams, but uh, um, you know, it obviously is a position that. That is uh, coveted and, and important. Um, so it, it wasn't that surprising. I, I guess the compensation was something you know we were all curious to see. When you say there were discussions, do you mean between you and the Dolphins yesterday, no, no, no. or just about Rose? No, just discussions general. about. Yeah, yeah. I, I think. Look, I, I think it was the destination of where he might go <clears throat> after Kyler Murray's selected. You know, there were a few few teams, and that was it. Your haircut, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Awesome. Where's the suit today? Huh? I thought we were gonna get a suit. I had the suit on yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Were you good. were you worried if you picked a defensive player that Deuce might scratch it out, pick someone else? No. Listen, between Deuce and Jari, Jari, you know they're, they're two different personalities. They they both did a good job. Um, anytime you move up, you're just between the two of them, they haven't missed many buffets, so we were walking up. <laughs> they weren't sitting in the lunchroom, you know, when we're trying to make a selection, but those guys represented us well. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>